Hi everyone, welcome to my next video. It's just to update you on one or two small changes that I've made today. Today I've been running my PC and various other things for a couple of hours and it's had no effect on the batteries at all. It used up uh, the the uh, energy created by the sun. It drew more from the panels, so that's really good. But anyway, uh, two changes today. Um, this. These two boxes here. I used to have another thing, uh, I used to have this, an industrial connector block, quite expensive things as well really, I think it was about 5 quid or something just for this little block, anyway, <coughs> so I've changed it now, and I've got these instead, um, you can see I've got bigger bars though, eight way bars so I've got all of the uh, negatives I think in this one yeah all the negatives in this one and there are the two cables there for the uh, charge controller and the inverter and of course the opposite here and the positive here to go to all the batteries and again the inverter and the charge controller there so I've got more space to wire up new things, so if I get new batteries, or more devices or whatever, I've got much more space. It's easier to work with as well, because I can actually, I can actually put thread them in properly, you know at the bottom here. It's easier to thread them in. And at the top of course. Zoom in on that. That's better. Yeah, so... It's just a bit better, so that's one of the, one of the changes I've done today. Um, they're quite they're quite good things, really. You can screw these in to lock them, but be alright for now. And well, it's quite tidy. You can see the bottom there; it's quite tidy. So that's what I've done today, anyway. Um, right, another thing I've done today is. Playing about with this inverter here, or testing it out, I can run my PC and various other things up to 600 watts, but it seems to act up a little bit. It seems to sometimes work, and sometimes not work, when we're starting things up. So, if I turn my PC on and start it up, there's a chance that it might not start, and I'm not exactly sure why. Um, but there we go. Another thing it does as well is it makes some um, devices buzz. You get sort of a bzzz, um It's quite a soft. Uh, it's quite quiet, but still, this buzzing noise. Um, my PC. It comes from my PC as well. So there's something weird going on. But my PC is only 180, well, 150 to 180 watts. So I don't know what exactly is going on here, but. But there we go. So this is rated 600 watts. It can actually go up to 1,200 watts. Anyway, so, the reason I told you about that is because I've been playing about with with this. Uh, you can see it's ripped apart at the minute. It probably won't look like anything recognisable, but this is a UPS. Smart UPS, 1500. And basically it's... Um, it's a thousand watt um, UPS. I'm trying to find the back of it, and I can show you the back. Oh, it's on here. Okay. <coughs> yeah, it's upside down, but this thing won't zoom in. There we go. Um, one thousand five hundred model, one thousand five hundred volt amp. 986 amps max. So, this little UPS, I've been playing about with it, and the bit where it charges the batteries, I've not bothered with that because I don't need that, but I've just used the inverter bit of it because obviously a thousand watt inverter that's pretty good. So, I've been playing about with that. There's the um, little adaptation I've made there. This plug, it 
it goes into it goes into this. It plugs into that there, and that's the input for, of the uh, of the UPS. Anyway, I've wired that into here as well, and as well as this one, which I've been using as well, I've been trying this one out, and this one um, is a pure sine wave inverter, so it's it's the best thing you can get. So not only is it the best thing that, you know you can get pure sine wave inverter, it's a thousand watts, so that's good. So, so I've been playing about with that, testing it with my PC and various other things. Uh, this thing's better. Um, there aren't any issues starting any devices, and not only that, there um, there's no buzz. It's it's clean. There's no buzz. So, so I got more stuff to learn about this, but it's looking good. I might get another one of these UPSs, a very high powered one, and um, just use that as a, an inverter. Keep that one as well. So there you go, that's what I've been doing today. So, just to keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Bye.